Hey guys, this is Kevin. Uh, I still uh, ask Kevin project, which uh, I pick up a couple of uh, over uh, subscribers' questions and uh, I try to answer them. Again, uh, uh, doesn't guarantee is correct answer and doesn't guarantee is good answer. So our friend about uh, a three DTG printer, uh, that this printer is based on uh, uh, Epson short color P four hundred, which is really a popular model, and of course it has a DX seven printhead. <coughs> and uh, I see the first problem immediately is you bought from China is probably AliExpress. Uh, so when the printer arrives, only print five T-shirts, and uh, the printer gave an error. And uh, try to contact the uh, contact the supplier. Uh, unfortunately, they're not supportive and uh, not answering any questions. And I try to replace the motherboard and uh, uh, the printhead, but still the error is still there. I just show you some truth about AliExpress. You can see I buy hundreds of items from AliExpress every year, and uh, it seems really easy to dispute if uh, some something wrong with uh, something wrong with the order so you just go to Aliexpress and find your order view detail and here you can just click open dispute and uh, you want to you can select a uh, refund only or return goods however other than you did not receive it which is highly unlikely because they, they give you a tracking if something anything's wrong there's no way you can get your money back. So, for example, I open a dispute with a print as I bought. Immediately, AliExpress reject, rejected my dispute, say the video is needed. Actually, before this, I already shoot pictures of the nozzle check and describe what I did. And I spent half an hour write a next nice paragraph and telling them that I'm highly experienced with a printer and basically you send me a, a malfunction print that so you ask for video so i spend another hour the detailed make a detailed video and show them what's wrong and i was really happy that uh, they sent me an email say hey your dispute your dispute is resolved let's see how much money i got and here you can see the final resolution refund is zero and uh, you and the seller did not reach an agreement. Of course, the seller is gone. <laughs> and uh, here's my history. So refund zero. Okay, big zero. And here's another story that uh, from my Facebook group. Uh, somebody bought a printer and uh, arrived damaged. Contact com contact the seller. The seller said, "Yeah, send it back." and the shipping was one thousand dollars and this one uh she tried to argue with a payment system however for like a if you use credit card or like a, any kind of american payment the deal is you have to spend your money send send it back um, before they can reimburse you so you get screwed either way uh, therefore guys just stay with amazon ebay walmart target it just breaks my heart every time somebody told me this is everything i have uh could you fix this printer uh, so i'll give you my best shot uh, however for the audience over there if you have a better idea or like uh, something you want to mention please please put down the comments and uh, i can forward it to the person who asked the question okay i'll show the video in one take then we're going to dissect it into segments. Hi, Kevin. Uh, thanks so much for your positive response on the email. So this is the printer. Um, when I check on the printhead here, it, it's locked on the home position. And um, when I switch it on, I want you to observe with me
so here we go this is the error that it's giving uh, this is the error and um, if I try to check now on the printhead it's not locked anymore and um, let me come here and uh, check on the on the episode reset program and I uh, will say check errors so it says error code 52h that's the error it brings i would really, really appreciate if this printer can work and come back to life and uh, if i switch it off again switch it off then um the print head like that on So you can see the movement, the head is moving. The error continues. So the error continues. The print head is not locked. So let's see. Um, the print head is seeing the docking station locked. That's good. So right now we're we're powering off. So that's a good thing. Then we turn the power on. And the power on is good. Next thing we're gonna see is if the print head move uh, to the both to both directions, which uh, reads the the timing scale, uh, which is a clear belt uh, on the printer. So it seems it moves smoothly and uh, it didn't slam on e either side. So I assume that's okay. Let's see it in another way. So basically, we have the carriage. Uh, that get locked with uh, the red clock <clears throat> and we have a clear belt the carriage has a reader so can the reader is position uh, the position will be from 0 to 80 I think in your case it was from 0 to 120 I think it doesn't matter if it cannot read the belt, you're going to see it get just slammed back and forth. So that, that's what we haven't seen. So the belt is okay, and uh, the the reader is okay. And uh, let, and we know it released the lock at some point of time. Basically, before that, a check if your waste ink is overflow or not. So your waste ink counter is okay. If you need any of uh, the diagram that I'm going to show you, just text the word Epson start and the number one, Epson start one to this number, and I'll text you back with a link. Printer released the lock. And uh, we're going to hear the page feed PF motor rotates clockwise. That uh, going to try to, uh, it, it sounds like it's trying to feed, feed a page. Oh, uh, here's the PF motor. That sounds good. And uh, with the uh, lock off, it's trying to remove, trying to move to the left first. Uh, trying to move the right first, then move to the left. And uh, here, it just uh, move, uh, uh, move the right, and then it stay at the home position. And uh, then it start the uh, initialization, uh, the page feed initialization process. So if you page feed motor or something wrong with it, you're gonna hear, you're gonna stop right here. So it just just rotating the uh, with the with the carriage in the home position or sort of like in the middle, it's just rotating this uh, page feed motor. And uh, after that, it move to the left. 
and just start doing things crazy. What it does is uh, I check the uh, the couple of sensors. One thing is uh, one is the low temperature operating sequence and uh, the PF measurement, pH feed measurement, and uh, PW sensor. Uh, PW sensor. PW sensor is mounted underneath the the printer carriage, and. Uh, PF is uh, the pitch feed measurement. That's when you rotate, it reads the, 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 how the paper feeds. And uh, I think your problem is right here. After it go do the ch 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 and uh, you get air here. So if that one is finished, you're going to go to the last step, which you didn't see. Uh, the last step is the the print has stop here and then move to the right. You lock and then move back and stay here. Okay, so that's the number eight you didn't see. You stop about right here. Because I stop here and the printer is not locked, you didn't go to number eight to lock it. So that's why the thing is unlocked. And now let's check the printer's error log. Number 52 is uh, paper jam. And uh, error 71 is, error 52H is the paper jam foreign object deformation of the mainframe. Okay, that doesn't give us too much because you don't have a paper there. You don't have a paper jam. And uh, so before that is 72H, uh, 71H. 71H is the page feed uh, APG unit failure either APG sensor failure or the motor failure. Basically, your printer cannot measure the page feed speed. So uh, I assume there's a piece of paper there cause a paper jam and uh, it either aired out. Uh, in your second part of the video that you show is kind of weird. When you start up again, the printer goes slowly, very slowly to the left and uh, and this is because if you had a paper jam error before, the printer going to go to a different set of routine. It will slowly move to the left, very, very slowly. So in case you really have a paper jam, it's going to run into the paper. Because you use a DTG printer, your page feed is different from regular printer. So I'll suggest you to check the connections of the P, the, the page feed uh, sensor and also check the uh, check the uh, the motor just make sure they, uh, the all the cables are secured. Again, if you open the link that uh, I shared shared with you on your on your cell phone and uh, you can see you're going to see the old uh, reference uh, diagram that I used. On the bottom, I also searched for some uh, solutions on Google. And the first one I can, th I can find is 51H on the DTG printer. And uh, 51H, you can see there is the same thing as 52H. It's the paper jam or form object. If you click on the link, You'll see it has problems and uh, the OK fixed. Uh, that's because one of the pins to the connector is loose. So put the pin back and the problem fixed. And uh, for the 71H, it's even closer to your problem. Uh, so basically, it's identify as uh, the APG uh, sensor or motor. And uh, when the guy look at it, the, the sensor is, uh, is out of place. So he popped it back in and everything works. And he, got a re he gave you really good uh, pictures, and uh, which you can blow up and uh, take a closer look. OK, I hope uh, this will fix your problem. Please visit us again at uh, www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro. North Carolina. Cheers.